the Big East. The Big East Conference Tournament, uh, it begins on Wednesday. Uh, you got your 8-9 matchup, Xavier and Butler. You got St. John's against DePaul, Seton Hall against Georgetown, etc. Uh, but your, your top seeds here, number one, Providence, number two, Villanova, yep. number three, UConn, and then Creighton and Marquette are the four and five, and they're playing each other on Thursday at 2.30 Eastern. Um, I... I like Villanova here at plus 150. I mean, they're the two seed, but they are they're the most talented. They've played really well down the stretch. Uh, but the team that I've got... And they, and they, got, the, they got the coach with the pedigree. Oh, that's most certainly. I, I don't like the that's plus 150 because... I mean, no, that's a short number. Yeah, it, it, very, very short. But... That's almost a favorite number. What is Providence? Uh, they got to be close to that. Well, Providence is the one seed, but they're plus 400, right? It, their metrics are, are so... Wacky and compared to the results. Yeah, so Villanova right? is the favorite to win it. That's the yeah. chalk to win it, regardless of the seat. Most certainly, most certainly. Yeah. Um, UConn is plus three twenty-five. Providence plus four hundred. Marquette is plus eight hundred. And I, the one that I like right now is Seton Hall. Uh, they've won five straight. They are playing lights out right now. Um, nobody is talking about them. And I know that they got to play a Wednesday game against Georgetown. But Georgetown has not won a single Big East game, so they'll they'll well, play yeah, against Georgetown's zero for in the conference. Yeah, it's I don't that hadn't been done in so long. I mean, they were going through all the record books like it, this is this is absurd. This is why you hang on. What did I tell you? This is why you don't hire heroes. Yeah, I mean they, they made it. They won at some them. point in time. At some point in time, somebody's going to have to have a very hard and uncomfortable conversation with a legend, a god, yeah. at. Georgetown. Well, and they, they just had to do it with John Thompson the third, right? Like it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's no, just that's absurd. It. Like you just you just fired one god, and and the other god, you're you're about to have a really uncomfortable conversation with. Yeah, they're saying that he's going to be back next year, but yep, no, you know, that's right. We'll see. We will see what ends up happening. Uh, but yeah, Seton Hall, you get through Georgetown, then you got to play UConn, then you would probably have to play Villanova, etc. Uh, but if it, Getting Seton Hall at plus twelve hundred, like I, I feel all right about that. I feel like I could, you know, maybe make a way uh, in there because Seton Hall has played insanely good basketball here lately. If, if you look at uh, Bartorvik, uh, his ratings since the beginning of February, Seton Hall is number two in this league. I mean, they are playing lights out right now uh, as far as advanced metrics go. So yeah, it's a tough road, but you know. I don't think it's any more difficult than Villanova having to play either UConn or Seton Hall in the next round. Um, you know, we'll we'll see where it goes from there. But uh, but yeah, uh, do you see value for uh, for anybody on this one? Well, I, 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 what, what was Marquette's number again? I like Marquette. Marquette is a plus eight hundred. They got to beat Creighton and then Providence, <laughs> and then you'd probably handle Villanova, UConn, or Seton Hall. Yeah. So I, if I if I had to take a long shot, I would like Marquette. Um, I also like UConn. I I actually think UConn is, you know, what are they like three fifty to one? Uh, three twenty five. Three twenty five. Uh, yeah, I, I would I would probably make those two picks. I would probably make a make a wager on 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 UConn and Marquette. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.